from Oceanside to the South Bay. San Diegans are hitting the beach today and hitting mm -hmm. it hard, searching for the perfect spot to enjoy the day and maybe catch some fireworks later tonight. Right now, SDPD says Fiesta Island is maxed out wow. and is closed to traffic. Plus, all beach lots are full or close to it. Yeah, CBS 8 Steve Price kicks off our team coverage of the fun. He joins us live in Imperial Beach. Hi, Steve. Hey, Kelly and Carlo. Man, the atmosphere out here is amazing. The sun has come out. The music is blaring. Families and friends all enjoying the day. We got a barbecue going right here. They got the carne asada going. A little, little chicken now. What do, what do we got going now? Yeah, some grilled chicken. All right, some grilled chicken going as well. Definitely folks out here having a lot of fun. Hi. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth of July. God bless America. Yeah, they are enjoying the holiday. So you definitely had to arrive early to get one of these prime spots on the stand. I'm talking like 6.30, 7 a.m. early. But those who are out here say, you know what, it is worth it. And they are definitely making the most of the day. They are cooking up a storm. We saw the carne asada and the chicken. But I'll tell you, a lot of folks out here with the hot dogs and the hamburgers. And, of course, some pretty impressive festive displays as well. And for many out here, a really nice surprise. The water is no longer longer off limits to swimmers if you're north of the pier the contamination levels dropped just in time this is always our spot for the past three years so we went well if we don't have to go on the water we won't go on the water we'll still come out here kind of keep the tradition going but we were happy to show up and they just opened the water so now we could comfortably go and swim That water is a little chilly, but take a look at this live picture. You can see a lot of kids out there having fun. Lifeguards out here keeping an eye on them to make sure that everything goes well. Now, coming up for you guys at 6 o'clock, we talked to the folks out here because, you know, there are a lot of choices, a lot of options when it comes to 4th of July beaches. So we said, why Imperial Beach? And they're going to tell us, and it's a pretty compelling answer. We'll have that for you coming up new at 6 o'clock. Steve, based on the scene you're showing us there and the whole vibe, it looks like they picked the perfect spot to celebrate. Okay, it's the 4th of July, so besides the beach and the water, what time do the fireworks start? I'll tell you, the fireworks, if you're going to watch, be near the Imperial Beach Pier starting at 9 o'clock. That said, Carlo, get here early because parking already becoming an issue out here, as you can imagine. All these people had to park somewhere. So, yeah, parking a little bit of an issue. The fireworks start at 9, right off the end of the pier, and it's going to be an amazing show. By the way, last year, you might remember, they did drones out here instead of fireworks. They had some last-minute issues, had to pivot. But this year, the fireworks are back. All right, Steve Price reporting live for us, enjoying that beautiful weather out there. Thank you, Steve. Man, right there on the set, I feel like I was out there with him for a second, <laughs> that we weren't here in the studio but doing work. smell that food. Got a little bit of a flavor of the vibe. <laughs> uh, speaking of big crowds, they gathered in Coronado today early for the annual Independence Day Parade. That's right, they were there really, really early. Uh, families started lining up Orange Avenue bright and early, like around 6 a.m., just to get a good spot to watch. <laughs> weather and the parade it just is, reminds me of just small town old-fashioned celebrate Independence Day a sea of red white and blue lined Orange Avenue as people of all ages gathered to watch the Independence Day parade in Coronado Linda Selton was among the crowd enjoying the day with her family we love everything about it I mean it's such like a representation of our community just Coronado being such a patriotic place and we love everything about it we love celebrating the fourth year from colorful floats to classic cars to an old-fashioned fire truck. Even our four-legged friends enjoyed the festivities. Some people dressed up for the occasion. Okay, Betsy Ross was the one that gave me the idea. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just patriotic and you can't wear this every day. I mean, you can, but I don't want to stand out. Kids got to meet their favorite superheroes. I think it's just amazing to see how excited they get. I mean, it's just the most fun thing in the world, honestly. Best feeling in the world, honestly. It's it, We got here at, what, 8 a.m.? That means a lot of us are waking up at like 5 a.m. and we wouldn't change it for the world. It's just the best feeling. This parade is a tradition for many families, something they look forward to every year. It's two-week-old Theodore's. First time here.
the true meaning of this holiday, something Sultan says she's teaching her children. My husband took them up to Fort Rosecrans, um, you know, just to remember like why we celebrate this holiday, the people that really sacrifice for our country uh, so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we have. Yeah, and I gotta be honest, seeing little Theodore oh boy. was my favorite part of the parade. He's honestly. working so hard just to be there. I know. And but it was really cute. All the superheroes would come up and little kids would yell, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, and then just seeing them get so excited just brought you back to being a kid again, enjoying the parade. It was really nice. That that like innocence of being a kid too, right? Yes. Like really <laughs> being a kid and just totally caught up in the moment mm -hmm. and all the coolness of a great parade. And the yeah. adults look like they were having a pretty good time too. <laughs> yeah, really a good family spot. I'm jealous you got to go out there today, to be honest. <laughs> Well, right now, San Diegans are getting ready for the Big Bay Boom. It's the largest fireworks show on the West Coast and one of the best fireworks displays in the country. It was number two on Yelp's list for the 4th of wow. July. Fireworks <laughs> will be launched from four barges in San Diego Bay at 9 p.m. You can watch from multiple locations, including Shelter Island, Harbor Island, and the Coronado Ferry Landing. But there will be crowds, so get there early to find a spot. I know the traffic is always the problem when you're trying to leave. Absolutely. Oh, we're looking at the drone shows that are going to be going on there. We do have the, the Big Bay is the fireworks. Right. This is local communities that are hosting drone shows instead of fireworks at La Jolla Shores. Synchronized drones are scheduled to launch at 845 PM. They will head out over the ocean near the La Jolla Shores Hotel. You can view it from Kellogg Park or on the beach. Ocean Beach is doing it too, hosting their first <laughs> drone light show. 300 drones launching from Ocean Beach elementary about 9 p.m. should be visible throughout the neighborhood we're told.